Tom Lobig. Holy crap. <laughs> Thought I'd play a little Irish music here for you. That's very nice. Yes. Very I, nice. Thank you. How so, have you been? Man? You look great. You, you want to, you want to, st- <laughs> it was like 1983, I think, the last time we talked. Yeah. I think yeah. that's probably about right. Welcome to So I Did a Thing. I'm Tom Lobig. Patrick Van Horn was the first TV news anchor man I worked with. He went on to great success in local and national television. But then he did a thing. In the first of our two episodes, we talk about TV, Dirty Harry, and the thing he said to Roger Ailes, something that Roger likely didn't hear very often. I uh, grew up in Missouri. Uh, that was uh, where I was born, and I went to college uh, in central Missouri, Westminster College, Fulton, Missouri. And I was uh, an English major, uh, which meant uh, you know I wasn't prepared to do anything. And uh, I was a theater minor, and so uh, about halfway through my senior year, my parents, my mom, said to me, "You know, you're going to have to find something to do." Uh, there's, you're going to go visit your grandmother this weekend. It was over um, uh, a holiday weekend, uh, the Christmas holidays. You're going to go down to Springfield, Missouri and visit her. Why don't you put your resume in at a few radio stations or television stations, something like that? Okay. Uh, so I did that. And uh, the second place that I uh, interviewed at that I dropped in a resume was KYTV, KY3 in Springfield, Missouri. And they saw something in my writing ability, I think, primarily, but they put me on camera and I'm, you know, we're, we've been on camera, we're hams. And I was enough of a ham that they said, you yeah, know, maybe we can do something with this kid. <laughs> so I wound up spending two and a half years there, uh, starting out as a video, f- gosh, film photo journal. Right. Yeah, we were still shooting film, uh, CP16 film. So I spent, uh, Two and a half years there, and uh, as you well know, you know in television you don't you don't spend much time in one place. Mm-hmm. At least if in broadcast journalism, you don't spend too much time in one place. Mm-hmm. So I I I went from Springfield to Louisville, Kentucky, and I was one year in Louisville, and then uh, from Louisville I went to Altoona, and uh, two and a half years there, where you and I met at uh, WTAJ TV ten. He's part of a special team. TV 10 Action News. I'm on my way. He's Thanks. Patrick Van Horn. Like everything's set up. And he's go. another good reason you should watch. This ought to be a great story. With a full staff of professionals like Patrick. Out. We're the largest television news team in Keystone uh, Country. Now we got to get the other side of this story. These people. And big enough to cover it all. So when you watch TV 10 Action TV. News. For TV 10 Action News, I'm Patrick Van Horn. You won't miss a thing. Got it? Let's go. Whenever, wherever it happens. And from there, got my first kind of big break at a big market. I went to work in Washington, D.C., uh, doing producing stories for and hosting, co-hosting PM Magazine, if you mm-hmm. remember those days of PM and Evening Magazine. Yeah. From there, after two and a half years, I went to San Francisco um, for uh, an afternoon four o'clock show called TGI4, which was sort of a Today, sh- today Show style show in the afternoon, lead into early news. Now, so here's a fun fact. Like we're While working now, in San Francisco, Patrick was sent to place. Epcot Goofy, Center in Disney World, so where he did live reports okay. from the that's, that's, Goofy that's Games. The station had a team, Abrams, including a local winner. Up, uh, Her name was Wendy Abrams. And Patrick and Wendy hit it off like, uh, we're doing and later married. His team didn't win, but he sure did. We're going to do great. All right, that's that's the official evaluation. By the way, anybody you want to say hi to back home? Hi, Mom. And... From there, my career kind of took a hold because that job ended and I didn't have anything right away to replace it. And I began doing some acting, theater uh, minor. So I began doing some acting. I was in uh, a lot of industrial films where you're trying to sell product and and San Francisco is, you know, very close to Silicon Valley. At that time, Silicon Valley was brand new. And I worked for all kinds of companies. corporations, Microsoft, Apple, Hewlett Packard, um, and uh, also did uh, some minor acting in major films. 
Um, no, I've I've seen you. You know, in, uh, which which movies? Which uh, big well, movies? One one movie, uh, the Deadpool with Clint Eastwood. It was the third, I think, the third of his Dirty Harry movies. And I'm I'm in the first uh, ten minutes of the film. I'm freeway reporter number two. You recognize any of the attackers, Callahan? Does this attack have anything to do with your testimony at the Geneva? Trial. Gennaro put out a contract on your life in retaliation for your testimony. Were these men employed by Lou Gennaro? Have you received any death threats? Inspector Callahan, has the department offered to provide you with any additional protection? Hold oh, it, hold it, will you? The department will be a complete statement as soon as we've conducted our own investigation. Um, but then, you know, my, my journalism career kind of got back on track. And I uh, went to work for NBC News and hosted a show, wrote, for and hosted a show called eyewitness video which in the uh, early 90s was on sunday nights at eight o'clock prime time show pretty successful show and i really enjoyed that and it was kind of like the it was youtube before youtube it took a look right, at, I was to say it's, it was groundbreaking at the time it was groundbreaking at the time it was taking uh, extraordinary video either that people had captured with their camcorders or that security cameras had captured somehow and, and then doing the story behind it. Mm -hmm. um, and it was really a great show. To this day, the video from that weekend tears in our emotions. The scenes from the assassination, the live shooting of Oswald, the funeral for JFK, they're as compelling and difficult to watch today as they were nearly three decades ago. When Eyewitness Video returns, a young couple takes marriage to new heights. But first, the Oakland firestorm through the eyes of some who survived. Sure. I loved it. Loved the crew that we worked with. Um, as all shows like that do, it ended. Uh, it got canceled. And the next thing that I did, there were a, a couple of pilots that I did for different things. But the next thing I did was uh, go to New York. I moved to New York and I worked for CBS News doing another show called Day and Date that was an afternoon show, uh, right. sort of like the Today Show in the afternoon. And as with all things syndication, that came to a close, and I moved back to the West Coast, and um, I'd worked two years, almost two years, for the Fox News Channel when it was brand new. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Patrick Van Horn. And I'm Edie Donna. Hey, John and Catherine are off tonight. And a federal judge in Denver has refused Terry Nichols' request for a new trial for his conviction in the Oklahoma City bombing. I was an anchor and a reporter out of the West Coast. And at that point, I had been in the broadcast journalism industry for 22 years, and I was kind of burnt out. I just didn't think that this is what I was going to do forever. Uh, I didn't want to do it anymore. Take, take us through that that career pivot that you made and some of the things that you thought about and where you and how you ended up where you ended up i'll be honest with you when i decided that broadcast journalism was was becoming something i didn't want to do or something that i wasn't really proud of uh and i'll be honest with you here i was standing i was doing a live shot i did a, 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 in a day's worth of live shots out in front of a funeral home in january in palm springs california because Sonny Bono of Sonny and Cher, who uh, was at that time a congressman from Southern California, he had been mayor of Palm Springs and then he was a congressman. He had a skiing accident and died. And uh, they were having the funeral in um, Palm Springs. And uh, I was standing in the rain at 4 a.m. doing a live shot back to uh, a Washington, D.C. Fox affiliate and back to Fox News in New York because Cher was going to come and speak at the funeral. And I just kept doing this over and over and over again for affiliates and for Fox News during their newscasts. Sonny Bono, I'm sure, was a nice guy, but we're treating this like a state funeral. I can't do this anymore. And four years before that, my wife and I had gone on a bike tour with a, com a company called, that was then called Bike Vermont. And we had gone on this week-long bike tour in the fall in Vermont. It was beautiful. Uh, all we had to do was ride bikes. And there were t these two leaders who would follow us on a bike and in a van and take care of us. And they were nice people. And they would do these motivational things every day to tell people how great it was going to be. And they would work on our bikes. All, I had, all Wendy and I had to do was 
just ride our bikes and go have snacks and dinner and drinks in the evening. Um, so I'm standing out in front of Sonny Bono's funeral and I'm thinking, man, wouldn't that be great to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when I told my wife, I said, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I gotta get out of this business. I have to get out of this business. And she said, what are you going to do? And I said, I don't know. I'm thinking about trying to lead bike tours. And she said, is this your midlife crisis? <laughs> I said, I don't know. She said, well, it's, it's not another woman and it's not a sports car. So you have my permission uh, if this is your midlife crisis. <laughs> so this is when I did a thing. While I was still working at Fox News, I took three days off and I took a leadership training course that uh, this uh, nonprofit called Adventure Cycling does. Um, they did it at a family camp. Uh, off of the Pacific Coast Highway, and it was uh, to teach people how to lead bike tours. Adventure Cycling has been leading bike tours across the nation uh, since 1976, and uh, so I took this three-day course, and it was great, and I thought, you know, I'm an animated individual. I'm smart. I can communicate with people. I think I can motivate people. The one thing I don't know how to do is work on bikes, so in the last six, five or six months that I was working at Fox News, I began learning how to work on bikes and fix bikes and replace bottom brackets, cables on shifters and things like that. So that when I finally told Roger Ailes, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. And he said, what are you going to do? And <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm going to lead bicycle tours. And he said, how much money can you make doing that? And I said, $75 a day plus expenses. <laughs> Everybody thought I was nuts. Thanks for watching or listening to So I Did a Thing. In our next episode with Patrick Van Horn, we'll talk about his dramatic pivot and how it turned out. This podcast is produced by BlueGlassesMedia.com.